hello you are welcome back to medical diaries if this is your first time of coming to medical Diaries, please 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 click on the subscription button please let us be become a part of this family let us grow together please and please share this video to help those that are out there and are preparing for jam in 2025 so today i'm going to be talking about how I had a 7% in jump biology. I had spoken in some of my videos on how I had 96% in jump physics. So now I'll be talking about how I had a 7% in, in my jump biology. And this is exactly to help you. Basically, when I was writing jump, I knew that biology was something I could easily relate with. Though I loved physics, I, I, secondary school i loved mathematics and all but i just knew that biology was something i could relate with so because of it i didn't want to base my eggs on biology i just wanted to be going as the time goes i like just be reading the topics but i didn't want to place all my eggs on biology as we know jam is cumulative if you get 100 here get 100 here get 100 here get 100 here and add them together they become 400 if you get 50 50 50 I add them together, they become 200. So jump is not a one-way thing. It's not something you rely just on one subject to pass. So if you are actually relying just on one subject to pass, or you, you don't like some subjects and you like some, and you are basing your action on the one that you like, like please, I want you to correct that mindset now. So back to what I was saying, when I was writing biology, I was trying as much as possible to just read it while at the same time putting much effort in my physics in, and in my chemistry and then in my English uh, English language because I, I knew that it, it was, I just knew that it was a cumulative thing. It's something that you have to gather all your scores from all the subjects together. Now back to how I had it 7% in my jam biology. Of course, I want to start this video by saying thanks be to God who showed me mercy and gave me that score. And I know that that God that showed me mercy will also show you mercy and grant you a great score. In Jesus' name, amen. So, um, what you basically need to do is, by now you should know that you, ha you have to know all your syllables. That is, don't take any topic for granted and don't overlook any topic it might just be that topic that you took for granted that will come out on your own day of exam because there are different days of the exams and before you know it like so the, the person i wrote in the morning might write like simple topics and then in the afternoon the topics can just change entirely to the ones that are more difficult and in the evening they change entirely to something else so what you need to do is to know all your topics please do not take anyone for granted and do not overlook anyone because the questions can come out for you from any of the topics so please i want you to be maximally prepared as much as possible know all the topics those things you the one thing about exams is that when exams are coming it will be looking like you don't know anything but in actual sense you actually know something so don't feel like you don't know something just keep reading all the topics make sure that you have knowledge in all the topics as much as possible don't ignore any topic please i am begging you because that topic that you love might not be the one that will come out for you i know we use faith to do things quite all right but please that topic that you love might not be the one that will come out for you so please don't ignore any topic love all the topics if possible in fact this is a time to force yourself to enjoy every topic love on them love on them love on them and try as much as possible to grasp as much as you can from every topic so please don't relent on any topic don't relent on any topic read it and maximize your time i won't say it's seven percent is the best you can get i know that you watching this video will get even more than 90 percent in the same biology because i even i want you to score higher than i did but i know that a seven percent is a pass score and because i want you to even score higher than i did that's why i'm making this video to help you gain enough knowledge and to help you to know how to channel your your studies and how to work hard in your 
the study. So please don't look down on any topic. Make sure you have knowledge in all the topics because it is CBT. Anyone can come out for you. We pray your own is easy. Actually, easy questions are questions you have read on. There is not as if like if they give you from those topics, they can give you questions from cells, just simple cells, and they might not be the ones you know because they are just the ones you have not read. So easy questions are those questions you have read on. I won't also hesitate to emphasize the importance of past questions. Are you solving past questions? If you are not, why not? Please stop, start solving past questions. Please, I am begging you. Please, please start solving past questions. Please, if you are not solving past questions, why not? Why not? Please start solving past questions. It makes you familiarize yourself with how the questions are answered. And it also makes you, it gives you confidence when you answer questions and you are able to get some. And even if you don't get some, don't worry, just keep answering, keep solving those questions. Look, I've done some questions already in the, on this YouTube channel, especially on this biology. I've done some questions already, and I want you to familiarize yourself with those past questions. If you're not able to carry past questions and start reading, at least go through those videos to know those past questions that I have already helped you to solve. So please solve past questions, not to cram the answers at the back, but to get to know it. We can use questions to actually treat a topic. Okay, let's say this question is talking about if it's talking about biomes, why not you go why don't you go and read about biomes? The good thing is that it's not only on textbooks now that you can even read about something. You can always read about them online, you can read about them everywhere. They are just everywhere you can read about these things. But for the sake of jump, I want you to be precise and accurate. So I don't want you to just read anywhere, please. I want you to read verified sources such as Lambda. Okay. There's also the one, I don't use Jam Remix, but I know that some of my colleagues talk about Jam Remix. So if you can check out on that, it's also good. But I'm giving you verified sources, such as Lamlad. Lamlad is a verified, a verified source. So please, please, I'm begging you, please, I'm begging you, solve questions, solve questions. I'm also begging you, please don't take any topic for granted. Please don't. Please don't take any topic for granted. All topics are as much important every topic is as much important as that one that you love and that you enjoy then before i finish making this video if you are going for tutorial try as much as possible to read what you are taught in the tutorial that same day and also maximize what you are taught in that tutorial if you are not going to if you are not going to a tutorial try as much as possible to maximize your own studies the studies you are doing on your own please try as much as possible to maximize it Please and um, please try as much as possible to so, maximize it. It is understandable if you are feeling anxious already because your exam is close by. It is very, very understandable. I myself was feeling that way. But try as much as possible to bring your feelings into control. You confess, confess. I am confident. I can write. I write boldly. I write confidently. I know something. I am not foolish. I am not this. You confess positively. Confess positively, please. And then get to write something and i know that i know that this jam will come out fine i know that god will help you and i know that it will come out fine so please and please and please i am begging you now do not take any topic for granted read as much as possible now when you enter the exam hall what are you going to do when you enter the exam hall it is biology there's every tendency that you can just jump at a question without really really checking properly if you have read that question properly so please don't jump at an answer don't just jump at an answer like that without checking if you have read the question properly there's every tendency that you jump at an answer without checking if you have read that question thoroughly so please don't jump at an answer carefully please be careful with every question because every question matters don't take any question for granted every single question every single knowledge matters this is a time where if you hear any knowledge any knowledge somewhere your brain should pick it immediately please every knowledge matters every question matters at this point make sure that you are maximizing every knowledge that comes your way Please maximize every knowledge that comes your way and also maximize every opportunity that comes your way, every opportunity to learn. What you do not know, research on it. What you do not know, read about it and be confident when you enter the example. It is very, very important for you to be confident because if you are not confident, there's a way your score 
will not be below what you would have ordinarily done when you are confident. So please be confident of yourself. Enter the example with strong mind and faith. Sound mind and faith that you will do it. And I know you are going to do it. See you next time. This is Medical Diaries once again. And please, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification. You can get to me through medical diaries at gmail.com. It's displayed on the screen. And do it also watch some other videos that we have made. Be a part of this family. Thank you so much. With love from Medical Diary.